All right, welcome back. Now we're looking at string functions. Now these are uh, functions we can use to manipulate our strings. So let's uh, get an example here. Let me open html.php. Make sure Apache is running. All right, so let me save this as string underscore functions dot, <coughs> dot php, excuse me. So let's go to, let me type screen, string functions like that and save. All right, let's run this in uh, Firefox, okay, and replace from htdocs to localhost like that, localhost. Oh, I lost it there. Let me see what I did wrong, localhost, enter. Okay, then we are in good business. All right, so if I had a string, for example, let me get a, a string from here that I already typed to save time. My string is equal to that, so let me just echo this uh, let me echo my string like that, okay? So if, uh, by the way, if uh, a notepad gives you a suggestion like like this, you press tab to accept it, okay? Something to note. So if I do that, I see this is a test because that's the string. But there are functions that I can use, like for example, instead of just echoing it, I can say something like str to upper, like that, okay? str to upper. Now, the moment I open, I, I press the opening uh, bracket, I see something down here. What it's actually showing me is how this function should be written, what the syntax is, what the language. So this word, a string at the beginning means that it will return a string. Whatever will be echoed will be a string, okay, then the thing. So in here, I have to put a string, 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 meaning I just need to put strings in here, open and close bracket, and it's going to work. So let me go and uh, close that, like that, okay? So string to upper of this version. Now what is string to upper means it's, it's going to change everything to uppercase. So let's see that in action. And you see, uh, this is a test in uppercase. So there are a few others that you can use. For example, let me, let me add a break tag here, concatenate a break tag, let me do that like so. All right, then control D to, there's one called string uh, string to lower, but let me just uh, put one of these as a capital letter like that, so we can see a string to lower in action, like that, okay? So let me refresh, and you see string to upper, string to lower, everything has been converted to lowercase, okay? Now there are a few others that we can try, for example, UC words, like that, what this one does is uppercase words. So what this would do is every word in the sentence, the first letter will be uppercase, like this, this, and you see it ignores the other one, it doesn't even try it, it just manipulates the first letter in the sentence, like that. There's also one called uh, UC first, okay? This one only manipulates the first letter, everything else is ignored, like this, like the beginning of a sentence, for example, okay? So these are a few uh, to remember. There's one called trim, okay? Now what trim does is if there were spaces uh, in this sentence, like for example, there's a space and then there's the word book at the end there. And then, oh, actually it trims the spaces at the very end like this. It will trim those spaces, not the ones in the middle. Let me try that. Yeah. Oh yeah, it actually trims the one in the middle like that. Trim spaces, okay. Pretty awesome. Oh no, it actually doesn't. It's HTML that trims this. Let me view the page source. Because if you see in the HTML, the spaces exist in between here. But you see HTML doesn't uh, acknowledge many spaces like this. So no matter how many spaces you leave between words like this, it's always going to show just one space. So that's why it's doing that. But what trim does is it trims the spaces, the trailing spaces and the spaces at the beginning like that. Now you could use trim to trim uh, actual text, like for example, you say, if you put a, a, a comma there, you can put a character list. Like for example, I want K to be trimmed. What will happen is it will trim the trailing K. So it's only for trimming what's at the end. So let me show you that. If I refresh, you see the K disappears because it trims that one. I could trim OK like that and you see another, yeah, something like that disappear as well. So it trims all the O's and all the K's in there. So that's how trim works. So there are a few more uh, that I've written down here that we need to explore. So let me just copy these and paste them down here. 
Okay. Right, just to be neat. So there's a string length, you know, string length. Uh, actually, let me just put a break tag at the end of all these. So we have a new line at each turn like that. So string length uh, returns the length of the string. It counts these uh, letters one by one and returns the length of it. Trim, I think trim we've already seen, so I can remove that. String string means search. It means search in my string, search for the word is, for example. Okay, so you can use variables here. If you don't want to use actual text, you can say search uh, in my string, whatever is contained in var one or var two or something like that. String replace will replace uh, a word with another word. In this case, this is the word we are searching for and we're replacing it with this one. And this is the subject, the string that we are replacing in. So if I go back and type the inverted comma like that, you see it bring out this uh, suggestion. Mixed means it can return a mixed value. It, it, uh, it can be a string or what, whatever it is, a string, a Boolean, uh, an integer or something. Then mixed search is what you're searching for. Again, this can be anything. It could be a number, a string and so on. A mixed replace, uh, whatever you're replacing it with and then a comma mixed subject. So the subject is here as well. So this is the syntax to guide you on what to put where. All right, so let me run this and see what we get. So as you can see, string length is 22. So this is the length of this string. If you count these letters one by one, including spaces, because spaces are characters as well, it comes to 22. String string means uh, find, we are looking for is in the string, okay? Uh, we're looking for that. So what it does is when it finds is, it returns this, the rest of the string from the point where it found what you're looking for, and then it returned the rest of the string. So this is what it has done. It has returned the rest of it. So string replace, you see the sentence has changed from this is a test to these are a test with book, test book at the end. So that's how this string replace actually works. All right, so in order to, there are many functions, there are many string functions you can uh, get. So to get more information on this, just go to php.net and you'll find, just type in the search for uh, string functions like that. Or just search for strings and the functions will show up. So you can see a lot of these uh, functions that are very useful, which you can uh, save on your computer for further reference. So now that we're done with strings, let's go to something else and I will see you in the next video.